Welcome to Big Al's Morning Bupkis, I guess. I'm getting carried by a raven. Or a crow. Are you a crow or a raven? It's more like a harpy lady. Harpy she's lady. Like, yeah, she got like weird gross feet claws. She's got like the bottom of a chin and it looks like a head going up in that like mask. Or is that a Valkyrie? It just said... Alright, that could be oh. the Valheim's take on a Valkyrie. Anyway, Big Al's Morning Bupkis. I'm here today... With my very good friend Zanth. I'm gonna put, let's get a round of applause in there. I'm going to put one in in post, maybe. I don't know. This has got to go up, like, in an hour and a half, so maybe not. Um, but we're playing some Valheim today. Uh, I'm going to talk to Hoogan here. What's up, buddy? Welcome to the 10th World Warrior. I am Hoogan, sent here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. Alright. Well, I mean, me and Zeth have been playing this for a little bit because this game is super cool. Everybody's been playing it lately. We're all having fun. Uh, so basically... Survival crafting game. Oh, Xanthus is here. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's gonna spawn like right in the middle where I did. But uh, you thus far, my friends. yeah, early access game. But basically, this uh little starting s stone circle here is just teaching you like, hey, you're gonna have to fight uh, god monsters and bring their heads here, put them on these hooks to get power. But. Oh my goodness, I'm excuse, excuse me. Alright. So, the first thing we're gonna need to do, we gotta, we gotta get some, some wood, and some rocks, and we gotta start building tools. I mean, it, you know, it starts off with your basic, uh, your basic survival crafting gameplay loop. Grab some berries. And, oh, we got a grayling already. Punch this boy. Oh, there's Hoogan again. What do you want, dog? Huh. Boy, I need some tools ASAP. Alright, Hoogan, what you got to say? I've already read your stuff before, I don't know why I'm at. Yeah, I got a snack. Alright. Thanks, glad I took the time to talk to you. Oh. There he is. Hey bird. You get dropped off by the same bird that I did. So a different bird. Well, I, don't I know, mean, some bird lady. I, it seems unlikely that it was the same one. Like I don't know exactly where we came from, but like you were probably right behind me. Not like the bird went round trip to get you after it dropped me off. I don't know how the flight patterns of Valkyries work. I mean, like, I even am a heathen, and... Yeah, no, they didn't... <laughs> the source material, where... <laughs> yeah, the Vikings really didn't record any of that. <clears throat> yeah, there wasn't a Norse trip advisor that I'm aware of. All right, I'm not that. saying that there for sure isn't. But... But... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Hoogan. I, I could probably just not talk to Hoogan when I see him because I've already heard all the starter stuff he has to say. Punch a board to death, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I've already punched a few things to death, although I'm really not fond of it. I'd rather, like, hit them with a sharp thing on a stick. It's really more my style, if I'm being honest with you. But, uh, you know. You can catch these hands real quick. God damn it. Quit moving. Uh, 
come into a forest, try to purge it of all of its natural treasures, like, just let me do it. Why you fight? Why you gotta fight it? All right, hammer. And then need another piece of wood so I can make my axe. There it is. Oh yeah. I'm basically a god now. I can do anything. Mostly I can drive this fucking axe into the skull of Graylings, but anything. <clears throat> So we're gonna try for for all you in, in brothers in gaming land slash YouTube land uh, to at least in this episode go out and kill the 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 first stag boss and so you guys can see how awesome and metal he is with his like electric horns. <clears throat> Maybe get into a, a stormy boat ride, too, just for good measure. That'd be pretty fun. Although I don't know if we're going to have the kind of scratch for that we need for a good boat. I guess the raft isn't too expensive, but I never even screwed with the raft, to be honest. <laughs> By the time... I couldn't figure out how to get to it, so... <laughs> well, I found a... Uh... <laughs> A abandoned house over here but this is kind of a shit spot for like an actual settlement it's all woods and shit so I'm gonna keep looking around do you want to mark yourself visible on the map because I don't know where you are okay you're back at the, yeah, at the starting to... circle you get my man okay listen Yes. <laughs> yes, tidings. We got it. I fucking understand. I'm not like, sorry to be getting sassy with like Odin's personal fucking messenger, but hey. you gotta chill. Boundaries, Hugin. Boundaries. You ever heard of them? Uh, we're friends, but I don't follow you around giving you advice that you that I, that you didn't ask for. <laughs> In most circles, I think that's considered rude. Rude. Oh, we got water right here. Come get. I'm about, we're about to have flint axes, it's like fucking <laughs> fast. Oh my gosh. Give me all your flints. Hoogan, what do you want, dude? Yes, workbench. I know what I'm doing. I want the flints first. <laughs> uh, da over here where I'm at might not be a bad uh, place for a little settlement up against the water. We can cut back the trees a little here so that there's uh, more actual building room. Be there in a moment. Run it, run it, run it. Just making sure I don't miss any flint. Because basically, y'all, if you ain't played this game, like, you pretty much only build the stone axe so that you have something to cut down trees with. And hit enemies with until you get the flint axe. Yeah, it's it's kind of like the wood pick in Minecraft. Yeah. This, this, is, this is but a temporary measure. Yeah. <clears throat> Unlike the stately wooden shovel, which I will gladly just break a million wooden shovels to dig a big hole. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, flint, flint, flint. How much flint do I got? 
Bro, I already got 12 flint. Let me out of the water. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Five minutes in. Sam's <laughs> drowns. <laughs> Be like, what happened? <laughs> Just I like, I don't, want, I don't want to talk about it. I definitely don't want to talk about the fact that I was not chasing a deer into the water to try to punch it to death. <laughs> that, nah, that ain't me. That ain't me. I, I don't do things <laughs> like that. What, what kind of person what? would do a thing like that? Quit accusing me of ridiculous shit. I did that one time. And it was successful, I'll note. <laughs> that one time that I admit to it happening. So, so <laughs> in theory, if I was gonna do it, it would be fine. <laughs> Screen caps on your PC, not mine. <laughs> one tree like almost growing through this house so I'm thinking I'll leave it. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Killed a couple necks. We're gonna have meat for dinner. Ugh. It's so disgustingly easy to find flint. Is it just the one house here? Or... Yeah. Yeah. Although up uh, up the coast here, there's actually a more open area. What are these little lean tos? Yeah, I don't know. I've seen those. I wonder if you can stick a bed under that and it'll <laughs> call it a safe. Uh... Technically, get shelter. Yeah, but I'm not sure. All right, I'm gonna come back your way. I think I got. <clears throat> Excuse me, gosh darn it! Plenty of flint. I'm just trying to do a little bit of wood collecting and get this house all tidied up, sprucied up. Yep, I'll make sure to bring back some uh, wooden stone as well. Oh damn! All right, so so the stag altar is right up where I'm at. I found it right there. Well, there's more than one, but yeah. Oh, okay. In any case, the that's a uh, that happened that happened on our other map too, because uh, there were two stag altars right up the uh, the coast. The coast. I ain't complaining. I ain't mad. Dude, the world is big enough that they can help us out a little bit. Yeah, yeah, fuck me if I had to go find the one fucking place where I could actually do the thing in this giant world. Because, yeah, let me, let me show you a little something out there for the uninitiated. Here's the map. Here's the map screen. Looks uh like we've uncovered quite a bit of it, huh? Nope. Whoop! Yeah, that's how much we've actually uncovered. So, uh, even it, it, on our maps where we have like hours of and hours of playtime, we still haven't really gotten <laughs> that far away from the center of the map. But that's cool. It leaves you room for growth. Gives you lots of opportunities to expand. Go out here. I see some boars grazing in what is now my land. It was willed to me by Odin. Can't really argue with that.
All right. I think I'm just going to knock down these little lean-tos. I don't believe them to be necessary. I can just repurpose the wood. Oh, but I got to fucking make a crafting station first. I just dropped one in a little izzy over here. Mm, I don't think I'm going to be in range of that one to knock down these lean-tos. Because this uh, little spot that they're on is actually kind of primo. It's already pretty flat. <clears throat> Alright. Stick the crafting table there for now. Hoogan. You can't just fucking fly down and land on my brand new crafting table. You're going to get fucking feathers everywhere! Oh, dude. This goddamn bird. <laughs> Get on my nerves. Odin, rein in your boy. We need to talk about your boy. He, he is just not listening. All right, chop of the trees. There we go. Finally, <laughs> my UI finally got done telling me all the new recipes I got after I built a thing. Look out! Oh! <laughs> Saved by the beach. I was watching that come down. I was like, oh no, that's coming down right on his ass. Whew, all right. We cool. We cool. Nobody has to die. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. The trees are the enemy. Well, it doesn't help that, like, half the time they start falling in one direction and, th and then, like, start swinging out towards you as they're falling. And it's just like, come on. That's some bullshit. I mean... That, uh... Kicking out at the base is... Yeah. The dangerous <laughs> things about cutting down trees. Yeah, I'd Never imagine. So... We're not exactly following safety protocols here. No, we are not uh, being responsible modern lumberjacks. <laughs> not even a little. We're uh, crazy Vikings running around wild. <laughs> Half Hit naked in a forest, <laughs> just hitting trees with stones. So, uh, yeah, some shit's gonna go wrong, guys. I'm not... Yeah, like, I'm not here to fucking... Just be perfect. I'm not your fucking. You know, this isn't. This is this is how art is made. All right, it's ugly. You make mistakes. <laughs> Who can? The day, it might mean something. Who can, buddy? I really. You just kind of are annoying sitting there staring at me while I work. Like, you ain't gonna pick up a fucking, uh, like, axe and help? Hmm? You just gonna fucking stand there like you're dumb? Like, I know you're a magic raven. Like, don't give me that, like, I ain't got hand shit. I know you got, you could do things that I don't know about. Uh, I'm not, you know, uh, a follower of the faith, but pretty sure Odin wouldn't fuck with you if you were just a regular ass bird. <laughs> right? Like, pretty sure. Nah, yeah, I mean, I don't think he's fucking around with amateurs, like. Yeah, Odin's got other shit to do. Can't be fucking around with non-magic birds. He's like out here getting ready to like die and shit. It's cool. 
Alright, let's see. Let me use my crafting station. Fix all the things. Fix all the things. Ah, there we go. What? Why invalid placement? Just in time, I am just short enough wood to drop a second bit. Cool. But if you want to come over here, we got the hizzy ready to rock. Hells yes. Let me finish what I'm doing over here. We need to expose. Get out of here. Fine, I'll throw some more goddamn walls up just so I can use this station. I'm just gonna knock this building down anyway. Why are you doing this to me? Whoa, that's not where you were supposed to go. What just happened? You good? I just caught the boot. Oh, you just get kicked out? <clears throat> yeah. Well, shit. That's alright. I'm sure you can get back pretty quick. Uno momento. That gives me a moment here to craft my flint axe. Can also get a hoe around. What else? <laughs> I can make arrows, but I don't have the stuff for a bow yet. Could make a spear. I don't really use the spear. What do I need for a shield? Some leather scraps? Alright. Well, I'll come back to that. All right, I'm back. Xanthus back. All right, let's have ourselves a little nap. Do, oh, do you have uh, you got any flints? No, I haven't grabbed any yet. If you can make me an axe and a spear. I'd well, you'll wanna you'll wanna make them because remember that's how you get your oh, recipes. So good. I dropped some flints right there on the ground over here. And then you can make yourself a flint axe before you go to bed. Yeah. And probably your flint spear. There's a lot of uh, flint there. Yeah. Hoogan, you're in my bed! God. Yeah. Again, root. Who does that? Who just, like, flies into your bed? Probably want a door on here before we go to sleep. Maybe. I don't. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know what those gray dwarves might do to me in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, is that what you were hoping for? Oh, maybe we. Uh... Listen, it's rough out here in Valheim. It gets lonely in the cold dark. Sometimes you need a handy from a tongueless monster. <laughs> mm, flint axe, you are so good. Someday I'll have a bronze axe and I won't need you anymore, but today is not that day. All right. So let's. We're going to want bows and shields uh, before we can fight the stag boss. So I'm going to go hunting for boars. Let's 
Because we need leather scraps. I should probably... I need to cook my uh, meat so I got food. Before I, dropped I, leave little, uh, I dropped the roaster in our cabin here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, we gotta cook the meat. What? There is a lit fire. Oh, I think you. What? The cooking oh, station. Too far forward. Like, hold on. I'll break it. It must have been because, like, it's like you gotta have a fire under it. I was like, well, what do you mean? It looks like it's over a fire. I know I don't have the best eyesight, but it looks like it's over a fire to me. Maybe I can... Can I get that out the back? That would be sweet. I could totally get it out the back. And then I got one more necktail. After I take these, you can have this other necktail. It's cooking for you. Don't let it burn. Foggy morning. Hey, a mushroom. I wouldn't mind some more mushrooms. <coughs> Excuse me. I am burpy this morning. Oh, there's some pigs. Bam! Bam! How you like having a sharp rock on a stick whacked into your head? It's not the highest technology, but better than anything you fucking got. Fucking pigs. Fucking pigs. Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. Whoa! NWA, motherfucker. Oh, here in Valheim! Represent. Raspberries. Hmm. Where the fuck am I? Fog. There we go. Got the fog in this game. Thick. Thick with two C's. Oh, yeah. The lighting effects, the like particle effects, the water effects, it is so damn sexy. It's just, yeah, it's just dreamy. It's like living in a dream. I don't know, uh Any of the gamers out there in gamer world are gonna catch this one, but it really does kind of remind me of uh, Unreal World in a way, and I would not be surprised to find out the developers had played that. Which, uh, if you're not familiar, is a really older, uh, independently developed uh, survival game that's supposed to be set in like Iron Age Finland. And, uh, Probably about like one step step up graphically from Dwarf Fortress, so <laughs> definitely not one of the prettier games. But yeah, was... I mean, one step up from classic Dwarf Fortress because then at least it's not ASCII. Like, <laughs> Ooh, yeah, 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 one step up from <laughs> I was playing with tiles. <laughs> I was like, I hope it's a step up from, from classic Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> It'd be tough not to. It's You're going to have a hard time selling that fucking game in this it's day and like, age. It's Pong, the survival game. It's a little, little arcane, but if you do enough acid, it's fun. I might have just been staring at static. I'm not sure. Now that I <laughs> you just thought you were playing a game. <laughs> 
After that fourth tab of fucking acid, it was all really blurry. <laughs> Don't do acid, kids. Do not. Which will actually or like, doing yeah, or like way of the samurai three for twenty four hours. Yeah, and that pretty much goes. That goes for a lot of drugs. Everybody, like y'all, uh, <laughs> like. Okay. Yeah, I'm not saying that all drugs are the same. They're not. But also, in my experience, yeah, a lot of times, you do a drug. And, and then you just play video games on the drug, and it makes video games better. But also more expensive. It's a really expensive way to play video games. Yeah, no, if you're going to do a gram of coke every time you want to fucking play <laughs> play a video game, like that becomes an expensive hobby real quick. A $60 video game plus a $100 <laughs> recurring stipend for a gram, that's... <sighs> People bitch about their... Uh... In this economy? Nah. <laughs> can't live with that i don't know why i'm chopping trees i was too busy making dumb jokes i'm, <laughs> look, I'm out here looking for boars i found a couple i think uh well, i still don't have enough for a bow yet although i should keep grabbing flint so that i can make flint head arrows Because, mm -mm -mm. yeah, I think, honestly, once we have uh, bows and shields, I think we could take on the stag. You don't even want to get pants? I mean, mostly when we fight the stag, we just don't get hit. Like, I, I know that, like, you know, the odd one gets in there, but... Long as uh, yeah. long as we play smart and don't get ourselves one shot, like we are gonna have to do at least enough deer hunting to. Yeah, we trophies. need to get two trophies. But that's all uh, all the better reason to get our hands on some bows. Cause deer are bullshit to hunt without a bow. Hoogan. Yes, I've been encumbered before. Can I turn off tips? <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't need all your your friendly advice, Hoogan. Tbh. I've been running around Valheim for a couple dozen hours now. I got. I got the gist of it. I promise. You catch on. It's cool. <clears throat> Mm -mm. I just heard what sounded like somebody shooting a bow. You got a bow already? Nice. Uh -oh. What? I swear to God, I heard. thought I heard, like, an arrow you flying through there. You got a skeleton shooting at us? That's what I was wondering, if maybe there was a skelly, but we're... In the meadows. Yeah, we're in meadows. We shouldn't really be in too much danger. The odd gray dwarf, maybe, but... <clears throat> Let's see if I can sneak up on this fucking deer. Sneaking. 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 <gasps> Bow! You get him? Totally got him. How about a little peck of this, you little peckery? Didn't give me a trophy, but he gave me two, uh, two hides, so... That ain't bad. Do, do, do. Man. I could live in Valheim. I wouldn't mind running around these meadows. Alright, I got a. Oh! Grayling. Out of my face. Here another boar. Where are you at? 
Yeah, uh, the boar hunting has not been great today. I have not just found many. Half the time, I'm just running like across the map, and boars are just everywhere and like trying to slow me down. And now, when I want some boars, they're nowhere to be found. That ain't cool, boars. Why you gotta be like that? I know death is scary, but like... I don't know. Should have thought about that before you were a boar. Yeah, uh, you know, they say go quiet into that dark night. Or wait. Something like that. Yeah, it's something very similar to that. Bob Dylan. Or Dylan Thomas. Those are two different people. <laughs> Do not go gentle into that good night. That's what <laughs> I, I, I'm just afraid people are going to be like, are these guys idiots? <laughs> I know what we're talking about. It's a joke, okay? It's a fucking joke. Get over yourself. <laughs> fucking stupid. Why are we listening to this? <laughs> These guys don't know what the hell they're These guys talking can't about. Find boars in Valheim. <laughs> they think Bob Dylan is Dylan Thomas. <laughs> and you know what? Dylan Thomas doesn't deserve that. Bob Dylan sucks. We out here dropping hot takes on the Friday bumpkin. I don't think it's that hot of a take. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, realistically, one of the biggest, like, a, a criticism that's been levied at Bob Dylan forever is like, yeah, he writes great lyrics, but his music's shit garbage fuck. Like... <laughs> okay, ah! the dick! Yeah, we fucking did a pincer attack. Oh, I got a trophy. That's one trophy down. All right. Build myself a proper little house over here. Level out a little ground. Clear it up here. All right. We are well on our way to killing that deer. That's reasonably flat. We could probably make a little bigger house. Mm -hmm. I gotta need my shield and spear now. Good enough. All right. Start here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. Four by four base, probably pretty good, although I think I gotta level some more ground here. God damn it. Come on. Why? Why, why, why? I want the ground to go down level. Down. There. Fuck, why was that so hard? And I gotta do it some more over here. There we go. A little more.
good enough for me. How much wood do I got? Oh, I got enough wood to build some more shit. Some walls. Oh yeah. The simple joys of building a house. So you, you see, the video games can let you live out your wildest fantasies, like being a homeowner. <laughs> <laughs> this, ain't, this ain't never gonna happen in real life. Alright, he's AF Can. He'll be back. I'll keep you entertained in the meantime. Although I'm not gonna entertain you by chopping down a tree and felling it on my own house. I'm not gonna do it. I know you thought I was gonna. I know you saw me go up to that tree like I was gonna chop it. But I ain't. But. What's up with the uh, with the fact that like everything in Valheim just wants to kill me? Where's all the cool? Where's all the cool people? It can't just all be like boars and gray dwarves and monsters that want me to die, right? I don't want to. I don't want that. I want to like have some friends. I don't. I mean, Xanth is great. I like having Xanth here to help me, but like, I don't know. A little more help would be nice. A little more... Some friends from the AI. I wouldn't mind. No, my house! Okay, we're cool. Maybe. That might still hit my house. No, we're good. These fallen trees are dangerous. They really do. I'm not going to say I've died more to falling trees than to enemies. But it's it's a, it's a contest, at least. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head which one is more dangerous. Certainly not Graylings. Graylings can fuck right off. Alright, now back to what I was doing. These guys are rude. Make sure my house is all fixed up. Pretty. Sturdy. <clears throat> you know what we need? We need some light. It's dark. Throw down a few torches. Bop. There we go. Now we can see. Sort of. Put another another one right here in the middle of the house. Now we need some roofing. Let's see. What do we want to do for a roof? We can do... You want to do a low roof? Here's what we'll do. I got it. Do one of these. And one of these. Put some supports here. I really like the building interface in this game. It's a little wonky still at times, but for the most part, I like it. And I'm sure that's going to improve. This game is in early access. I don't know if we mentioned that. If you're watching this, it's probably because you already like Valheim, I'm assuming. So you already knew, but... Let's see. 
get some doors. Now, I've found I mean, once your floor is down, if you like try to target this, sometimes it'll let you push the dirt back under. Oh, yeah? But apparently, it's not going to let you. Yeah, I, I was just like, fuck it, because I didn't feel like uh, messing with it for too long. But now I just need a little bit more wood, and I can finish up what I'm doing over here. Alrighty. Ah! Tree, you fucking asshole. J Jesus, sometimes I swear these logs just chase me. It's like, I'm gonna roll at you. I'm gonna roll at you. What you gonna do about it? And the answer is, I'm gonna let you fucking break my leg, probably. <laughs> Be mad about it, I guess. Alright, that should be enough wood. I use wood too fast. Right. Well, I'm in bed, safe and sound, whenever you're there. Excellent. It shouldn't be too long here. I just gotta make a bed and a fire. Enemies nearby, you sons of bitches. Come here, Grayling. Just skulking around my damn house. What, you ain't got your own house? Creepers trying to peep in your windows and shit. Catch a fapping. I mean, I don't think the... Uh... Yeah, I just don't think uh You really got a peep, you just ask. We were already talking about the, like, tongueless hand jobs. Yeah, I'm open-minded. <laughs> okay, good morning. Back in Valheim. Or I guess I never left Valheim is really a better description. Uh. Excuse me. It's a beautiful day in Valheim. But you know what? I think that's all the time we have for today. I wanted to get to the first stag boss, but it's taken a little longer. But, uh, you know what? I don't usually... I haven't been doing continuations uh, on the Bupkis. I've pretty much just been, uh... 
like doing a, a, a quick snippet of playing games and making jokes. But uh, may, maybe next week we come back to this map with these characters and uh, at least kill the stag boss for the good people. Yeah, do a little. I mean, it's a fun game. Uh, we can get into a lot of crazy antics. All so. kinds of antics. So yeah, uh, why don't you like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends. Uh, let me kill this boar. Boom. Ba no, no, come back. Yeah, I'm going to kill you. There we go. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day. I hope your morning is going great. And uh, we love you. Bye. Woo!